Here is a tale of the tape. Pechum's Boo Rung Kikit Chai Muay Thai versus Uchira Nora. So always good to see young talent entering the ring. Pet Jumpu with 60 bouts. So four times the experience of her Japanese opponent. But we've seen it a few times, the experience gap between eyes and foreign opponents is lessening and a lot of times the foreigners are making more of their experience. We see a very traditional stance and guard here from Pet Shampoo in the red. Fujiwara just starting off early, trying to get a read on her opponent. Throwing out too much here in the first round. Oh, beautiful red kick. Yeah, great counter kicking from Pet Shampoo. She's basically waiting for Fujiwara and then blasting out these kicks. Nice leg kick there from the Japanese athlete. She's, that, she's becoming a little bit readable with that skip in though. As you can see, Petrol Pool just capitalizing on it. time she moves in, she throws out that right kick. Getting a very good read on that skip in from Fujiwara. Beautiful left body kick and great right kick into the cross there from Pet Shampoo. Showing off her experience and showing how she's utilized it so far. Fujiwara's got to be careful she doesn't keep telegraphing that skip in. Nice little leg kick there. Very fast muscle switch fiber there from Fujiwara. Again, she... Pet Shampoo is chopping at that leg of Fujiwara's. I think it's really getting slow the Japanese athlete down as we move on. Trying to puncture that tire, as you like to say. Beautiful left kick there. She times it so well, not even switching it, just throwing it up to score. Good defense there by Pet Shampoo on the back foot. I think... Fujiwara is really going to need to take the fight to Petrumpu. Not come in with the same speed all the time. Good double up on the kicks. Stalking it down. Ooh, nice short elbow. Beautiful short elbow there from the Thai athlete. So I think that Petrumpu is backing up, but. So far, for me, she's controlling the pace and damage of the fight. What do you think, Joe? I would agree with that. The, the strategy of drawing Fujiwara in for her own style of attacks is a beautiful one. It's a very classic back foot strategy there from Pechonpul. And I think Fujiwara is really just playing into Pechonpul's game at the time. Yeah, I would totally agree with you. We'll see how the fight progresses, but I would give that first round to Pet Shampoo. Fujiwara was very active, but I felt the more damaging shots came in from the Thai athlete. I would agree with that. I think Fujiwara needs to go a bit higher as well, not just go for the low kicks all the time. Like to see her mix up the levels a little bit more. What do you think Fujiwara's corner will be telling her, Matt? I think it might be a good idea to try and utilize the hands a bit more to set up the kicks and also be a little bit faster about blocking, especially that lead leg kick. I do feel like Pet Shampoo is doing a good job disguising it though. So here we are for round two of our first bout this morning. Japan taking on Thailand. Fujiwara from Japan taking on 
Petrumpu from Thailand. Straight out of the gates in the second round. Fujiwara really picking up the pace here. Maybe listening to Matt. Yeah. yeah, some of these hands are definitely landing and I think upsetting Petrumpu a little bit. Now the tie starting to angle off. It's definitely started to break some of her rhythm up and the timing. And I think this is what I meant by Fujiwara has to take the fight to Petrumpu now. She's doing that very effectively. Although Petrol Pool answers back with her own. Yeah, she's just feeding back and countering the hands of Fujiwara, landing well and landing clean. Combinations and combinations, more combinations than a bank safe this morning. Beautiful left kick there from Fujiwara from Japan. Yeah, and Pet Jump, who's down, is looking as clean and successful now. Beautiful left body kick there from the Japanese athlete. I think we're starting to see Pet Jump fade a bit here. And again, trapped up against the ropes. Blasting out two kicks, Fujiwara. She circles out, back into center ring. Fujiwara doing a good job of controlling the action now. Beautiful left kick there, up onto the arms. Slapping onto the guard of Petrol Pool. Look at those combinations, Matt. Very slick, very tidy. Going for the leg kick again. Catches the leg, returns with a left. There's one minute left here. Oh, big teeth to the face. Yeah, really showing some dominance here, Fukurawa. There's that left kick. Blasting out like Boy Cal Bantamek here. Yeah, and I think Pet Shampoo is getting into some deep waters, getting into some deep trouble. Good right hand from her. This is definitely one of those cases where Fujiwara took the first round to warm up and she's come out firing. Yeah. I think there's a strong possibility for a KO. I think your crystal ball could be very clear this morning, Matt. Not sure of this round, but if Fujiwara continues like this into the third round, she could have this stopped a little early. And it does look like that look on Petrumpu's face. She looks a lot less confident now. Big right tip to end the round from Fujiwara. That is the end of the second round, ladies and gentlemen. So we'll just go and have a look at some of the action replays from that second round. Fireworks in that second round. Fujiwara really coming out of the gates. She took the first round to warm up, but coming back into her own in that second. So the big combinations really starting to fade. Petrumpu there. Yeah, it, I think she might have heard my advice, Joe, to start letting the hands go. And sound advice that is, because it definitely worked for her in that second round. Just dialing up the intensity as well. What do you think Fujiwara's corner will be telling her now? To just try and finish off the job, to be honest. To keep the pace, keep blasting out that left kick. It's working very well for her. I think that if I was Pet Chapu here, I would probably try and move into the clinch, open up with elbows, change up the game plan. Kick, Fujiwara. Fujiwara is not here to muck around this morning. Look at that left kick. Just explodes into the left hook as well. Yeah, an absolute cannon of a kick there from Fujiwara. <laughs> Pet Shampoo looking like she's comfortable. Oh! oh! Sends flying it. across the ring. 
Yes. Uh, maybe she wanted to send her to Japan. She's definitely getting a taste of Japan here. Big left kick again, doubling up. Oh, right up onto the head. Fujiwara is not here to muck around this morning, ladies and gentlemen. She's looking to make a statement. Catches the kick, returns. And a smile on the face of the Japanese athlete. Definitely enjoying herself. Gets the vice grip lock, biding her time a little bit. Oh, and I think Petrum Bull's just having a hard time to fire off. Oh, the push kick to the face again. A very dominant third round so far from the Japanese athlete. Can Petra Poo get her second win? Big face tape, then tapes it to the body. She's a slick operator, this Fujiwara. Very, very entertaining fight here this morning at Fairtex Fight. Great combinations here from the Japanese athlete. Really unselling Pet Shampoo. I do think that Pet Shampoo is going to see the end of the round, but he's definitely going to see a lot of bruising tomorrow as well. Slapping up onto the arms there, trying to break the guard of Pet Shampoo. Maybe come over the top. Pechampu trying to walk her forward into the corner. Yeah, and you see now, Fujiwara looks very, very confident and is basically trying to control the fight. Beautiful step up knee there. You know that's a favorite of mine, Matt. Big hands to follow up with the double left kick. Combinations upon combinations here. More combinations than a KFC secret recipe. Just 10 seconds left. And I don't think Pet Shampoo can really do anything to change the game here. And a nice show of respect between the two athletes. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. And that is the third and final round for our first bout of this morning. Chompu taking on Fujiwara from Japan. So we'll have a look at some of the action replays. There's that big teep that sent Petrumpu flying across the ring. Some of the ferocious hand combinations by our Japanese athlete this morning. Steps through, right hand follows up with the left kick, doubles it up, slaps it up onto the arms. I think Petrumpu is going to have very sore forearms tomorrow. You want to have to go and have an ice bath after this, I think. Ladies and gentlemen, after the completion of all three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards. All three judges score this bout 29-28. Yisikao, Yisipad. Yisikao, Yisipad. Yisikao, Yisipad. For the winner, in the black corner, Fujiwara Noah.